Okay, so many people are going to get this simple math problem wrong because they don't understand basic math as well as they think. But uh, let's see how you do with this problem. And we're not going to be using a calculator here. And the question is 100 divided by 5 squared times 4. So I'm going to kind of narrow this down to these two answers. And uh, one of these answers is correct. And that is 1 or 16. All right, so if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. Again, no calculator. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we're going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is the problem again, 100 divided by 5 squared times 4. And we're not using our calculator. Seems like a pretty easy problem. And let's go ahead and take a look at that answer. So if you answered one, well, guess what? That is incorrect. So unfortunately, you have a little uh, sad face here. But don't be sad because you're going to learn something that's probably one of the most common mistakes when it comes to basic math. Uh, and uh, obviously, the correct answer is 16. And if you answered 16, well, indeed, you're going to get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in basic mathematics. Congratulations. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. And uh, for those of you that answered one, well, how did you do the problem? Well, you probably did this. You said, all right, well, I have 100 divided by 5 squared. So 5 squared means what? Well, 5 squared means take 5 and multiply it by itself. So 5 squared is 5 times 5 or 25. All right, so that's very good. It's actually correct. So we have 25 in terms of a first step. So we have 100 uh, divided by 25 times 4. Now, a lot of you said, well, that's a good idea to multiply right here. So 25 times 4 is 100, and you're going to end up with 100 divided by 100. Of course, anything divided by itself is 1. Well, uh, that looks pretty good. Unfortunately, it's wrong. Now, why is this incorrect? Well, it's incorrect uh, for this one simple reason, and uh, this is uh, probably the most common reason uh, people get basic math problems wrong. You did this in the wrong order. Now, this is good if you did this uh, as your first step to solve this problem, 5 squared, but then you went on to do multiplication. That is incorrect. What you need to do is the division first, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and talk about exactly how to do this problem. And we're going to do a quick review of the order of operations. And uh, the order of operations in mathematics can be remember, remembered by this simple little acronym or phrase right here called PEMDAS. Now, this is a checklist that goes from left to right. And I'm gonna just basically going to do a quick review of this. Now, uh, as I indicated, if you got this problem wrong, in other words, you answered with one, that means you did the problem in the wrong order. We did the uh, operations in the wrong order. So in math, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, even like parentheses and uh, powers, these things we have to consider the correct order. And uh, basically, if we keep this little phrase in mind, PEMDAS will always be able to do a basic math problem or actually any math problem in the correct order. So let's go ahead and talk about this phrase right here. So obviously, uh, these letters stand for something. So P, by the way, let me just go ahead and kind of back up here. So this is a checklist. You're going to start from the left and move towards the right. And if any of these things here are in your math problem, well, then you're basically going to address them. So let's start with the P. So the P stands for parentheses. Okay, so if your math problem has uh, parentheses like this or even brackets or these type of brackets, these are called grouping symbols, but basically that's where you're going to start. So for example, if I have parentheses here around these two numbers, I'm grouping these two numbers, we would start right there. But of course, our problem does not have any uh, parentheses, so we have to move on to the next thing, 
on our checklist, and that is E. So remember, uh, this PEMDAS checklist, uh, not every single prom is going to have these things in it. So you just kind of have to, you know, take it one step at a time. And if your prom does have one of these steps, well, obviously, you need to address it. Okay, so the next step is E, and that stands for exponents. Okay, well, basically, you can think of this as power. So right here, we have 5 squared, right? Well, this, is, this entire thing is a power. But this little number up here is what we call an exponent. And this big number down here is called the base. The entire thing is a power. So E stands for exponents, but you can think of it as power. So if your problem has any powers in it, like ours uh, does right here, well, that's what you're going to do next. All right, so now the fun part of this problem, and that is where most people are going to make their errors when it comes to the order of operations. And uh, let, first of all, let me just tell you what the rest of these letters stand for. So M, D, A, and S. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Now, you might be saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know what's next. Uh, multiplication comes next because that's what's on the checklist from left to right. But uh, that's not the way it works. And this is where people get frustrated with math. You're like, hey, wait a minute. You just told me it's a checklist from left to right, but now you're changing your mind. Well, this is how PEMDAS actually works. And a lot of people think that if your math problem has both multiplication and division like ours right here, you're going to do the multiplication, okay, because it comes first in our little PEMDAS phrase, and then we'll do division after that. Well, that's not the way this works, okay? But again, if you made this error, it is a super, super uh, common place where people get confused on the order of operations. So the way this works is M and D is actually a group. So in other words, you're, gonna, you're going to do multiplication or division if you have both multiplication and division in your problem. So the way M and D stands for in this little PEMDAS checklist is uh, multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. So here is left, here is right. We're looking at the uh, problem this way. So what do we see first? Well, we see division and then we have multiplication. So we're going to do the division first. Okay, obviously here we have to take care of the exponent before we even do that. So we're going to take care of the exponent and then we're going to do the division and then we'll do the multiplication. So uh, that's the way PEMDAS actually uh, works in terms of how to understand that phrase and then a and s addition and subtraction work the same way all right so this is going to make a huge difference in terms of the number that we're going to get so let's go ahead and do the prom right now all right so 100 divided by 5 squared times 4 well we're thinking about pemdos right you don't have to write this down but you should always kind of keep this in your head and there's a cool little phrase that goes along with this uh, pemdos here, and that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But uh, whether you use that little mnemonic, little memory aid, or just write it down, doesn't make a difference. Mentally, you just have to look at the prompt. So you're, you're going to start, and you're going to say, all right, do I have any parentheses? No, we don't have any parentheses. Do I have any exponents or powers? Indeed, we do. So we're going to start right there. So we're going to start with 5 squared. All right, so 5 squared, as I indicated, means 5 times 5, and that, of course, is 25. So what you want to do in these problems, and it's not a bad idea also to just underline the step that you're going to take, but just write one step at a time. So here's the problem. Underline your first step, and then a result of that is, of course, 25. So this is the right way to um, you know, basically do math. Remember, math is a language, so you're not going to tell a story by saying, all right, uh, once upon a time, da, 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 the end, right? That's going to be a pretty boring story because you really don't know what's going on. Same thing in math. You can't be like, here's the problem, here's the solution. Your teacher's going to be, I don't really understand what you know or don't know. All right, so 100 divided by 25 times 4. Now, at this point in the problem, we have what? We have division and we have multiplication. And now that we are geniuses in the order of operations, we know that we have to consider multiplication or division and do whatever we see first from left to right. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we do uh, this last final step, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now I've been on YouTube for a long time. I love teaching on YouTube. 
I kind of think of it as my big, huge virtual classroom. And my goal really is to um, try to, you know, encourage people to never give up in mathematics and try to make math interesting and fun and teach uh, these topics in a clear and understandable manner, okay? Because really the way you're taught math makes all the difference in the world. There's nothing worse than, you know, kind of like uh, being taught in a real esoteric uh, way. If you don't know what that means, it's very technical, right? You know, that's boring. I don't like to be taught that way. I mean, there's times and places where you need all this technical information, but, you know, I think if you are taught in a way that just makes the concepts easy to understand, and of course, seeing a lot of examples, you know, this is how you're going to build your skills and confidence in mathematics. But uh, if you need additional help in math, well, then you got to check out my full main comprehensive math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. And for the math that we're talking about here, basic mathematics, I would uh, encourage you to check out two courses. My Math Foundations course, which is a, basically it's a quick review of basic math, all those things that you probably forgot way back when you were in school. Or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. In this course here, I cover basic math, algebra, geometry, even some basic trigonometry and some other things as well. All right, so let's finish up this prom. And by the way, after you hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. All right, so we're almost done here. And uh, the last step that we need to take is what? Well, we have to do the division because we understand the order of operations, right? We're not going to be thinking, well, I got PEMDAS here. And unfortunately, uh, I think in a lot of math textbooks, this is taught, but it's not stressed enough because it's a common problem. Okay, most people are like, all right, uh, there was no parentheses. I took care of the powers. So now M, I'm going to do multiplication, and then I'll do division, right? So this is how we're going to end up with our error here. So again, multiplication and division is a group. So we're going to take care of this division. So 100 divided by 25 is, of course, going to be 4, right? So this is basic math. Hopefully, you're not having any issues with uh, these simple multiplication and division problems. So 100 divided by uh, 25 is 4. So our last step is simply going to be 4 times 4, which, of course, is 16. All right, so don't feel bad if you got this problem wrong. Matter of fact, I'm happy that you did make this mistake because now you've corrected this error. And that's what learning math is all about. You know, make a mistake. And uh, as long as you kind of write out each step, that's really key as well. So when you do a math problem, you know, write out each step. And if you have like a video solution or a teacher, they could be like, oh, you went wrong right here. And this is how you improve in math quickly, right? You don't uh, basically need to relearn every aspect of the problem. In other words, in this uh, problem here, you probably know how to take powers. You probably know how to div uh, divide and you probably know how to multiply. So, you know, you don't have to relearn all the aspects of this problem. You just have to clarify, you know, these one little, uh, you know, parts of the, of the problem that make up the total solution. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.